Ho -ho. So this is the Panasonic S5. Uh, I traded in my GH5 um, with all my gear to get this camera and the kit lens. Sounds a little crazy because I had a pretty good lineup. Um, but there's a couple things that, um, you know, I was okay doing this. Number one, actually, um, let me change the setup a little bit. Okay, first off, so the GH5 was a amazing camera. I freaking loved it. Um, it hurt me to get rid of it. I wish I could have just kept all that stuff and then got that five, but um, money uh, with the kit lens, the 2060. Now, people might be like, but it's so, it's a 3.5 to 5.6. But I mean, essentially, like, I mean, I was shooting, you know, just a little bit uh, about the same because of the all the crop stuff. and. I think that Patrick Tommaso said it best that you don't have to do any more math. Like with the full frame, uh, a 20 millimeter is a 20 millimeter. Uh, you know, if I go to 50, a 50 is a 50. Whereas in the Micro Four Third realm, I always kind of had to do a little bit of math. Um, and really, I didn't do too much math because I was just kind of like, well, this is what it is, and I'm just gonna shoot. Um, and uh, because it just, it just, I, that's the gear I had, so it, that's what I did. And I, I had originally, I was going to purchase it a, a couple months or a couple weeks ago. Um, I was going to trade it in and then get this camera and then, uh, you know, go from there. But then I decided, you know what, I'm going to keep my uh, my Micro Four Thirds system because um, for me, as a content creator, I was like, I already have all these lenses. But one of the biggest things that the um, that, that I was, as I was thinking about things is one, I want... Uh, I, I'm, I'm a hybrid shooter. Uh, I mean, I don't shoot a ton of commercial photography because um, um, that's just not my realm. But I do a lot of video photography or video. Um, but I want to have a good camera that I can take photos for my family, especially in low light, because that's where I find myself in when I'm doing just photography in the house or you know just doing stuff with the fam. And the GH5 just didn't quite cut it. Um, you know, I always found like. I got better pictures for sure with my phone. Now, um, gears in the point, but um, for me, I wanted something that I could have um, to get just that extra little, make my photos a little bit extra, just be you know, better in my for for me. And so I decided to go with the S5 because it is a photo. It's a uh, it's a hybrid camera, so it does photos really well. It's got a 24 megapixel. Uh, sensor which is four more pixels, but it's a full frame. So I just get you get that extra depth of field and um, And it's got a dual native ISO or dual uh, dual base. Yeah, it's got a dual native ISO Which means that it does better in low light plus it's a uh, it's a full frame So it ju like I'm just really excited to take this out and work stuff now a couple other things to know that I that kind of really drew me to this kit lens or this kit uh, one the price dropped <laughs> so that's a big plus um, I, and as of now I think you can get the um, you can get the kit for uh, the body and the kit um, for right about two thousand uh, dollars which is dope there's a couple of the quirks in there um, I'm gonna do a, like a, a review later on after I've had it for a couple months and I feel better about it uh, but some initial thoughts that I wanted to kind of share one um, again like some people say uh, the having full HDMI um, I had like uh, I have an, a Ninja, uh, so I'm really excited to do the uh, 5.9K uh, ProRes RAW, just trying to t just to get test the ProRes RAW like the waters there. Um, I probably won't shoot that for most of my content, um, but for client videos I m will, um, just because it gives me that extra little flexibility. It's not that much more storage space than like LT. Uh, at least that's what I've I've seen from some of the research I've, I've gotten. Um, and then, as well as the fact that um, I can do BTS photos. One thing I didn't like with the GH5 is when I worked with my partner Sean, uh, when we were out doing client work for our, 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 our creative agency company, um, the, one of the things that is that struck that I struggled with is that every time I took photos, it just didn't like it just didn't hit as as or just didn't hit the way I wanted it to hit because one is micro this micro four third sensor I would have had to swap to like a prime to get like a, the same sort of feel that I wanted to and I just didn't want to swap out to that I usually was doing some like uh, some b-roll um, and so I, I, I really needed something to be that hybrid and this is this is gonna be really beneficial um, in from some of the things I have done one of the things that's really beneficial is I really love uh, this is a small thing but um, 
this is some things that I love about Panasonic is that you know we get that red record box around the screen. Uh, there's actually a little tally light on the back, which I also didn't realize, but I, I love it. Um, and I get all the most functionality that I have from the GH5 in here. Um, I've got the live cropping. Um, I got the they added with the firm update recently the uh, 180, you know, the shutter angle rather than shutter speed, which is something I use for video. Super beneficial. I got really, I got really. I, I had, for for a long time I just did shutter uh, speed, but going to shutter angle just like changed the game. It's like super nice to be able to just set that angle and then you know forget about it for when it comes to video. Now. Uh, one of the last things I, I wanted to, to note is that uh, I kind of am excited. I know that like this is not like the the fastest lens. One of the biggest things is is that um, sometimes having limitations and not having all the gear makes you think more. And so I'm excited to to run this kit for the next uh, couple months uh, before I get uh, another lens that might be a little bit faster. Um, um, and so that won't be anytime soon. It'll be somewhere down the, lo I'll, I'll down the line. But um, I'm excited to uh, really put this uh, camera and kit to work. So if you have any questions about the S5, please leave them in the comments down below. Uh, if you like this video or if you want to see the long-term review of this camera, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to get notified when I release that.